Okay, so uh, welcome back. I'm, uh, I'm just on my way to my uh, second job and I uh, just spotted this uh, Titoki tree, otherwise known as uh, New Zealand ash. Um, and this is probably one of the best specimens I've seen, okay, with the amount of uh, um, little berries there are here. Okay, so I'm just trying to zoom in a little bit here for you. I don't have too much time because I've got to get going. But um, you can see the berries there. You can see the, um, the ones with the brown husks. Okay, uh, they haven't opened yet. And then you can see the one with the red there with the uh, black seed in it. Okay, so it's the red, the red pulp that you eat. Okay, or the red uh, berry. And the black seed there, you can't eat it. It's quite a solid berry and uh, sort of seed. And um, that was what was used, um, uh, I believe, for um, oil. Okay, for oil, um, for body oil in the old days. Okay, so um, this, this tree here is fantastic. All right, it's got lots. It's very, very, normally very hard to spot. Um, the ones of these uh, uh, trees with the berries on them. Okay, but this one in particular has uh, got quite a few. So um, I'll just bring it back a little bit more so you can see the whole tree. All right. My apologies for the cars driving past and whatnot. Um, but what I'll do now is I'll, um, I'll shoot up there as best I can and I'll try and, uh, I'll try and get a uh, berry all right and i'll show you that they are in fact edible um anyway so i'll just pause there and i'll be back okay, with you so shortly welcome back so i've um i've found some uh on the tree that are uh around about uh well i can reach them so i'll pull one down here actually i'll break this branch off okay so here you can see, I'll try and get a zoom in on the uh, the leaf a bit, bit better. So there's a zoom in on the leaf, okay. Um, once you get to know these leaves, they stand out quite a bit, these trees. You can spot them when you're driving, okay. I'll try and get a, uh, okay, here's some of the husks there. A bit hard to get the thing on. I'll try and get one of these, uh, I'll try and get it as close as I can, so you can see the berry, alright, and the seeds there. Okay, so the husk comes off, and then you'll um, see the red berry of the black seed on it. Okay, so this one in particular, has a few on it, alright, as you can see. Alright, so I'll come back a little bit. Hopefully the uh, camera doesn't fall down, alright, and basically one of the books is a uh, book called uh, New Zealand uh, something in the mountains in the, uh, I can't remember what it's called, I'll try and, I'll put up a, uh, I'll put it up on the uh, YouTube when I find it, um, mountains and blah blah blah, New Zealand survival, um, but anyway, so here's the uh, red seed or the red berry, Okay, all right, now they taste, I've eaten these before and they've always had a real, they're moist, but they make the mouth go really dry. Okay, makes the whole mouth go sort of dry, wherever the um, flesh goes. Okay, so they weren't very prized, however, and not so bad if you like, put some sugar or something with them but it still makes your mouth sort of dry out but then it gets moist again pretty quickly so here's the seed here I'll try and bring this one in a bit closer to you all right so it's just me um, filming here and you can see here the black seed now this was the prized piece of the uh, tree itself okay so these would be um, collected and crushed um, and to 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 uh, extract the oils from out of it. Okay, so it was the oils that were extracted 
uh, and they were prized by uh, early Māori, all right? And basically, it look, just looks like a, um, I don't know, maybe the size of a uh, garden spider, the black garden spiders, okay? And um, you can actually find these all over the, uh, over the ground under Titoki trees normally. Um, now, these berries, okay, <coughs> let's bring that out again, sorry. Um, these berries, the red berries here, it's, it's a rush to, to get them um, before the birds do. The birds are pretty quick to get them, um, so it's a rush to get them. Um, and they're very, very hard to find because the birds love them, okay? But you can see here, I'll bring this one in a bit closer. You can see here where, it, where it's encompassed. The black seed is encompassed into or sits inside the black, the, the red flesh, okay? The seeds are very, very strong, very, very solid, okay? And the flesh, what I'll do is I'll just break it. You can just see it here as I break it, okay? You can see it here, the white, the flesh, all right, come in a bit. You can see the flesh, all right, I'll try and zoom in a bit better. Okay, so the flesh is white inside the red pulp, okay, and sorry my fingers get in the way, there's not much space, okay, and there we go there, alright, the um, inside it, that's a good shot right there, okay, and so um, that's all edible, alright, so for those of you that have um, read um, New Zealand Edible Plants by um, Andrew Crow. Okay, he'll, he states that you can eat these, that they are edible, and I can confirm that they are edible. Um, takes a little bit of an acquired taste. Um, once you've got the taste, I mean, that's a nice big one right there, nice and juicy. Once you've got acquired taste for it, it doesn't take long, um, you could just keep eating these all day, not a problem. Okay? Um, that one's beautiful. Nice and... If you get a nice, real big one, um, that are real, real nice, big, fat, juicy ones, are beautiful. And they actually do have a... Um, a strawberry flavour to them. Okay? But if they're little ones, they have no flavour. They're just dry. Like that one now, nice tastes like a strawberry okay strawberry flavor so it really comes down to um, which ones you can find okay um, and this tree is just loaded with them they're just everywhere so that one there's not too bad it's a decent sort of a size um, and that'll probably be close to strawberry Not too bad. A little bit of strawberry flavour, a little bit of dry. But obviously the bigger they are, the juicier they are, and the more they taste like strawberries. It still has that sort of, the flesh sort of breaks up in your mouth. And it's almost like when you're eating an apple. Okay, it's got that same sort of crunchy flavour of an apple, the inside of it, the flesh of an apple. That's what it feels like. Okay. But nothing wrong with these, fully edible, black seeds here, um, try and get a close up in the hand, okay, try and bring that down a bit, alright, so the black seeds, these are the prized possession, okay, of, of the plant, okay, and um, these, are, these are really decent sized seeds here, now telltale signs, Okay, um, just going to the ground here, okay, you can see that you'll see all these red things on the ground, okay, the red berries, all right, so there's red berries down there, and you can see the seeds just down there as well, okay, so if you're going, all right, there's, oh, sorry, my mistake, 
my apologies okay so if you can see just where my fingers pointing here's the seeds over here the black seeds just in front of my finger okay but you can see all the brown um, let's see where we are I'll try and come up a bit okay so you can see try and get down here all right so you can see you've got the um, the flesh of them here you've got seeds over here and you've got all the old brown um, uh, husks husks I'll probably call them okay so some are still filled with the seeds in it and other ones are open okay so hopefully you could see that um, hopefully I'm um, pointing in the right direction there but anyway, um, tea talky, um, they're everywhere. Uh, this is a female tree. Only the female trees bear fruit, okay? Only the female trees bear fruit. And um, yeah, just absolutely delicious as far as if you can get big, juicy, the big, juicy ones, okay? Big, juicy ones. So I'm going to grab a few of these before I go. And um, um, I hope you've been... Uh, enjoyed this and um, I'll get some more details when I've got time but I've I better get better get going on to work otherwise I'm going to be late anyway thanks for coming along and I'll see you again okay, shortly so uh, welcome back so I've um, gotten home now and I've um, bought a, uh, a piece of the uh, branchlet um, home with me so I've got a little bit of time to explain all the stuff uh, a lot better okay so let's start off with a uh, description of the uh, tree okay so basically um, some people say that the, uh, the the bark of the tree or the trunk is quite dark color but um, I've, I've never really recognized it through the bark um, I more recognize it through um, the leaves okay so let's uh, take a zoom into these leaves okay so what you'll notice about the leaves is <clears throat> They have about, I'll just move this one here, they have about uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, about 9 um, sort of leaves sort of coming off each other, about alternate, okay, so they'll have one come off, then another one, and so on, okay. Um, now the leaves are always sort of um, slightly uh, curved like that, okay, as you can see from the top, okay. They're very bright green, or should I say a bright dark green, very sort of a little bit glossy, as you can see, and um, pointed at the ends, okay? So they're quite distinctive uh, leaves, all right? Um, underneath the leaves is, if I can get under here, okay, is it's sort of still quite dark, okay? It's a little bit lighter, but... Um, here we go to the underneath, all right? Okay. So, uh, I don't know. It's, yeah. Normally you can't see the under, under leaves anyway with these, okay? It's mainly this top glossy part that you can see, okay? Now the next giveaway of this tree here that you'll spot is <clears throat> the brown... Um, husks okay so you can see the brown husks there all right now I'll zoom in all right there's a brown husk right there okay now these brown husks <clears throat> they um, just just over here okay all right, there's a brown husk there all right so they these brown husks um, they, they, there's a whole lot of them, uh, they all sort of bunch together, okay, um, and so that's generally a pretty good giveaway when you see all these brown husks, okay. Now, occasionally, but very rarely, you'll see a, um, a berry, okay, and you'll see the berry in the husk normally, okay, like this one here. All right, just here. All right, so you'll see the berry just sticking out of the husk, the red berry, 
and um, you may see the black seed sticking out as well, okay, just over here, all right. Um, but normally, uh, you won't you won't see this, okay. It's normally the the leaves will stand out, and the brown husks. Now the husks um, are actually got like a light brown hair on them, okay. They're very like a a very light uh, brown hair or fur on them, okay. Um, I've already shown what the uh, uh, berries look like close up, but uh, I've grabbed a few from off the tree tonight, okay, and uh, here's a bit of a uh, better collection of them where I'm not moving around so much, okay, and uh, hopefully you can see these these a little bit uh, clearer, okay. So, um, yeah, they look like um, little black eyes, okay, or um, the, the very shiny black seeds, uh, roundish, and um, almost like, as I said, a garden spider. You know, the type of spider you'd find in the, um, where your water mains are, okay? Um, but yeah, um, apart from that, uh, the tree is um, called uh, um, Titoki, okay? And uh, it's basically, it's a New Zealand native tree. And um, it's also, as I've stated, uh, it used to be called uh, New Zealand ash, okay? And that's because <clears throat> the tree is very hard. It's a hardwood, okay? Very, very strong wood and also um, elastic, okay? So it's, 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 it's very, very strong and it's got elastic uh, qualities in it, okay? Which means it can sort of spring. So it, it could be... Uh, some uh, tree that could be used for um, uh, maybe uh, making a bow out of, okay. Um, what else? Uh, titoki. Um, basically, the, uh, the titoki uh, was used for axes as well, okay. So, uh, titoki uh, in uh, Māori means adds, like similar to an axe, okay, but an adds, all right, uh, which is uh, slightly different, so adds being A-D-Z-E, okay, that's how it's spelled, A-D-Z-E. Um, so the main part of the uh, tree really is the, uh, um, the berries, okay, now these berries, uh, the red berries, the, the red pulp of the berries is um, edible, now, the, the, the book I was trying to remember that says that it, it doesn't, that, that they're um, poisonous, is called How to Survive in the, in the Bush, on the Coast, in the Mountains of New Zealand. Okay, so I'll see if I can get a shot in there of this. Alright, so there it is there. Okay, How to Survive in the Bush, on the Coast, in the Mountains of New Zealand. Okay, and that's by... Uh, Flight Lieutenant, um, I'll try and get that a bit closer, uh, Flight Lieutenant um, B. Hildreth, okay, by the uh, Royal New Zealand Air Force. Now this book here, if you've got this book at all, okay, uh, prize possession, eh, um, I would uh, highly advise anybody that's interested in this sort of stuff to get this book. Um, they're very, very rare though, very, very rare, uh, even though they were, they, they, they don't make them anymore, um, and to get a second-hand one, you pretty much need to buy one from um, the, the United States, okay? Which are around about, uh, you'd be looking at close to $100 for a second-hand one. Um, so if you do have one in New Zealand, um, or you can get one, uh, get it and um, keep it, look after it, um, take care of it. It's a re really, really excellent book, okay? Um <sighs> The man that does state in his book um, that, it, that they are edible is um, a guy named uh, Andrew Crow, okay, and uh, here's his book here, alright, um, a field guide, I'll just bring that back a bit actually, uh, right, a field guide to 
the New Zealand native edible plants of New Zealand by Andrew Crow. Okay, now this book here is uh, highly recommended. Okay, um, I've learned a lot from this particular book. Uh, probably most of my knowledge has come from this book over the years. Um, it's being self self taught, and uh, again another book I'd highly recommend. Now Andrew Crow. Um, states that there's no evidence for these to be poisonous and um, I've eaten these before and um, I've, I've had no ill effect from the um, from the red pulp um, at all so uh, yeah anyway the um, the birds do like to eat these okay um, as I've stated and really they love them they absolutely love them you've actually it's a race to get them um, You've got to really uh, race the uh, birds to them, okay? Because if they get uh, the birds get to them before you do, they're gone, okay? They'll eat them. So, um, and uh, as I've said, how do they taste? The the smaller ones I find are quite. Um, uh, they have the smaller ones have really no taste. They're quite astringent, uh, as in uh, they make your mouth very dry. Uh, it has a little bit of moisture, but it makes your mouth very dry. Uh, when it comes to contact with the flesh that you're eating um, and the flesh tastes uh, feels like um, apple okay so however the larger berries like the big the biggest ones you can find uh, the biggest ones with the red pulp that are very juicy they actually taste like strawberries okay they got a real nice uh, sweet taste and it doesn't dry the mouth out as much okay um, and they're, they're delicious. They're really, really nice. Um, it is a little bit of an acquired taste when you do eat the uh, smaller ones. Um, but uh, the bigger ones, delicious. So if you can find a tree with the big big berries on it, um, you want to go for it. So what would I class as a big berry? Uh, probably this one here would be classed as a big berry. And that would be, I don't know, probably the size of my thumb. My thumbnail. Okay, be about the size of my thumbnail for that one there. And so that one there would be uh, delicious. Okay, um, what else? Uh, so the berries, are, the, the, the red pulp is edible. Um, and uh, just go for it if you find it. But very, very rare to find. Very, very hard to find. And they only grow on uh, female trees. Okay, the male trees don't bear fruit just the female trees, so it makes it harder to find. Now, um, the berries, okay, the berries here, the red berries, um, they, how can I explain this? The, the brown husks here can go for two seasons, which means they can go for about a whole year, actually two years, okay, they can be on the tree for two years, the brown husks, all right, before it will bury, before it will actually shed the uh, husk, okay, so um, you might have some, some of the tree, some of the husks burying, like this, this here, and these other brown husks here, they won't, they won't actually shed or bury until next year, okay, and so they're sort of, they bury on alternate years, okay, so some of the husks will come out uh, one year and then the following year um, the other husks will come out and then of course other the tree will grow uh, more of the brown husks all right so it's uh it's just a luck thing when you come across the berries all right um, but yeah okay so the most important part to the um, to the uh, of the tree as far as early moldy go goes is the um is the seed all right is the uh the black seed here all right so uh what i'll do is i'll just i'll just eat this red pulp so that's the big one that i just showed that had my um the size of my um thumbnail all right and um, that was juicy, nice and juicy, sweet, and delicious, okay? As I said, tastes like strawberry, 
all right? Tastes like strawberry or strawberries. Really, really yummy. Okay, so here's the seed here, all right? And um, these seeds here were the prized possession of Māori. Um, and so what they'd do is you get a whole lot of them, you crush them up with a rock or whatever you can get, um, a pistol, I think it's called a pistol, okay, and a bowl, and you break them up, break them up and then you squeeze squeeze all the broken pieces up and out comes a, uh, a green, um, what would you call it, a green oil, okay? Now that oil um, was mixed with um, fragrant leaves like um, uh, tarata or kohuhu, um, uh, kohu kohu, um, not kohu kohu, uh, yeah, kohu kohu, and um, tarata and things like that, and uh, to add a nice scent to the um, to the uh, oil, okay, and then that oil was used externally um, on uh, the hair and on the body, okay. Um, now you could just drink the oil um, on its own um, uh, without without the uh, fragrance in it. And that was basically for um, <clears throat> tuberculosis, which was or spitting blood, okay, like for people that was uh, spitting blood, um, and that would uh, ease or help that out. Um, something that I want to try with this is the seeds, is to uh, try the oil out as in for burning. Uh, apparently, the um, the sailors back in the old days um, really prized the oil. For, um, I'll just let my cat outside. He wants to go outside. Okay, so the the sailors used to um, prize the oil from the uh, from the from the black seeds, and um, let's put that one up over here. Used to used to uh, prize the oil from the black seeds, um, as they used to uh, burn burn the oil. Okay, so um, and uh, they'd use the oil in the uh, ships on, to keep. Yeah, you know, make light on on the ships with their um, whatever they use, their lamps or whatever, lanterns and stuff like that. So, as far as the survival situation goes, for uh, as a uh, burning, uh, for 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 creating fire or burning with the oil, uh, it'd be really interesting to try out. So uh, I might do that one day when I've got uh, more time on my hands, and see how that goes. Okay. Um, what else with this tree? Um, there's not really much more to sort of um, say about it apart from uh, the, the 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 red pulp here. Okay, has been used by a um, a, a company in New Zealand here uh, to make a, a liqueur, a liqueur, and uh, called uh, Titoki liqueur, and um, that was uh, exported over to Japan. Um, I'm not sure if that's still going or whatnot, but um, yeah. So um, definitely edible. Um, beautiful if you find the big berries. Okay, the big red pulp, beautiful. And um, if you don't, if you find the smaller ones, then it's a little bit astringent, but um, and dryish. But um, it's a, it's an acquired taste. But uh, well worth looking out for. Uh, perfect in a survival situation if you come across a big tree. Um, if you do have a lot of get a lot of the little ones, you can always add some sort of sweetener, like uh, flax, um, like the um, juices from the flax tree, okay, or flax bush, should I say, um, or otherwise known as harakeke. All right. So um, hopefully this will help you, and uh, hopefully you enjoyed it, and um, um, yeah. So basically, uh, um, subscribe. Like, comment, and uh, we'll see you on the uh, the next video. Thanks for coming along. Cheers.